Hello friends and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about switch statement in C language. Let's see the table of contents in this video. First, we will see the overview of switch statement. In that, we will basically understand what is switch statement. Then, uh, we will write a program using uh, switch statement. So, it is a practical portion. Then, after that, I will give you some exercise questions uh, so that you can solve that and understand the switch statement. Now let us understand about the switch statement. So here you can see that switch statement is an alternative for if else if ladder i have created a video on if else if ladder before so i will uh, give that link in the description and as well as you can uh, go through that video from the i button so uh, basically uh, sometimes you can use a uh, switch statement instead of this if else if ladder so let us see the syntax of switch statement in switch statements first we have an expression now this expression is evaluated with all the cases present here and if the case is true the code in that case will be executed so first the uh, first we will uh, give input in the switch statement a expression now that expression is evaluated with this value if it is true then this code written here will be executed now after that there is a break statement now uh, we write this break statement because if one of the condition is true in this switch statement then we don't need to check all other conditions and it will directly uh, uh, break out from this switch statement and uh, we will get the output uh, present in this case now the same thing if this condition is false it will check the other cases and uh, the same thing will be uh, executed uh, if a if a condition is true the code inside that case will be executed now if a user has uh, given an invalid expression or we can say the expression uh, which is not present in all these cases so R uh, is not uh, fulfilling the condition present in all these cases then at last if all the cases are false this default statement will be executed now this default statement is same as else statement in if else if ladder so at last uh, whatever you have written in this default statement the code you have written here will be executed and it will break this switch here the break statement is present in each and every case so if one of the case is true then the code will be executed and uh, the it will break out of the switch loop uh, and we will get the output present in the case which is true so let us create a program uh, to understand this switch statement here we are going to create a simple calculator in a calculator we just need two numbers on which we will perform the operation and we need a operand uh, an operand means the operation which needs to be performed on the given two numbers so let us take an operand in the input so let's write enter an operand from given so we will support addition multiplication division and subtraction operation in this simple calculator so we are uh, basically saying the user to take 
uh, enter an input uh, from this given values so to take an input of this uh, we need to write uh, we need to create a character variable because this is an uh, character so let us create a character variable name that as operand you can name this character anything whatever you want so now let us write a scanf statement to take input now as you know this is a character variable so we just need to write percentage c comma ampersand operand so uh, here we have taken the operand as an input now we will take two numbers on which we need to perform this operation now let us take two numbers on which this operation will be performed as an input the two numbers would be integer so let's declare the variable here a comma b and semicolon let's write here printf statement to say user that enter two numbers now this will be printed in console as this is a printf statement now let's write scanf statement to take input here the variables are integer so we need to write percentage d space percentage d now here i am uh, giving a suggestion that this uh, how to take input uh, variable when we uh, when we take uh, input for more than one variable so you just need to enter a variable then whatever you need to write here like comma or percentage you just need to give here so i have given here space and then the next variable now here we'll give the address of a comma and percent b now here we have the numbers on which the operation should be performed and the operation in the input and let's uh, see the switch statement so by seeing this operation uh, you have guessed that we will have the four cases because for each operation we will have a single case so in switch statement we need to write four cases and a default case so let's just write switch statement now here as you know that in switch statement we have expression this expression is evaluated through all the cases given in this switch so here in this uh, in our simple calculator program we have operation as an expression because on basis of this operand we will uh, perform the operation accordingly so let us just write here operand as an expression now let's just remove this comments and here we need to provide the constant expression now what is constant expression as we know in this case that the there would be only four input so you just need to provide here what will be the input let us say the first one would be addition so i have written here in single inverted commas because the operand which needs to be evaluated through this case is character and character is represented using single quotes so whenever the operand is addition this case will be executed and whatever the code written here will be executed so let us just write here printf addition of given numbers is now the 
addition of these two numbers will be an integer so let us write here percentage d comma a plus b so here uh, we are adding these two numbers and as this output of these two numbers will be integer so we are giving here percentage d now uh, the next case would be multiplication so we'll just copy this and paste it here so we can make minimal changes uh, so in the second case we'll change addition to multiplication and in printf statement we'll write multiplication of given two numbers is a into b now the output of a into b will also be in integer so we have written here percentage d the next case is division so let's paste the case and change the operand to division in printf you just need to write division of given two number is a divided by b and the last case is subtraction in printf you just need to change subtraction of given numbers is a minus b so if an user enters operand from given choices then one of this condition will be true and the code written in the given uh, in the case will be executed now if a user enters an operand outside this case then the default case will be executed and whatever written here will be printed in the console so let us write here you have entered wrong operand now uh, if uh, all these conditions are false then the default case will be executed now uh, the simple cal i think so the program of simple calculator is completed now save this program and let's run this program now you just need to go on the location where this file is located and open the command prompt and uh, or else you can write directly through here from terminal so in this you just need to write the command gcc which is the compiler uh, hyphen o then you just need to give a name i'm giving here calci this name will be given to the exe file and then just you need to write the file name the file name is calculator.c now here uh, if you get an error you just need to verify this file name or uh, return here is correct or not now after that you just need to press enter now here uh, this command is successfully executed and you can see here that the calci.exe is created and the name is created on the basis we have given here now you just need to run this exe using the command period slash the name of exe here you can see the program is asking for an operand to in, in input so let us give the addition operand and press enter now you just need to enter two numbers 5 space 10 here uh, the numbers we need to enter in this format a number then space and then a number so let's just enter okay press here and enter now you can see here that addition of given numbers is 50 now uh, what happens in this program that according to this operand uh, the cases are 
evaluated so the operand was plus so this case addition will be true and the code written here will be executed as you can see here in the console now let us try the another operation now here you can directly run the code by this command so once uh, you have compiled this program and exe is created you can run this program multiple times using this now if you had made any changes then you just need to write this command again and newly ex new exe will be created so we had not made any changes so we'll write this command and press enter now here we will multiply two numbers so giving an input as <coughs> multiplication operand and write two numbers 50 into 100 and you can see here we got the answer multiplication of given number is 5000 so here uh, it will check the operand or evaluate the operand through these cases and the multiplication case is true so this printf, uh, printf statement is executed you can see here now let's see the default statement will be executed if we give wrong input or the input out of these choices then let's execute the program and give a dollar symbol so there is no dollar case here so it needs to go in the default case so let's just write enter and give two numbers 5 and 10 now here you can see you have entered wrong operand so the when you enter a wrong operand all these cases are uh, will give the output false and the default case will be executed and printed in the console now don't worry about this uh, commands i will give that in the description and finally we have some exercise program so that you pra you can practice switch statement and understand that so uh, i have given two programs in this exercise the first one is uh, in this program a user enters uh, here you can see a user enters a number so according to number you just need to display the month so we have 12 months so the number the input would be from 1 to 12 so if a user enters 1 then you just need to display that the month is january now uh, according to the input you just need to display uh, you just need to display the months and this program uh, you need to write using switch statement in this program you also need to add the default uh, default case so that if a user enters the value greater than 12 or less than 1 you just need to uh, say the user that you are entering the wrong input then the second program is in this program uh, it is same as the previous one the input would be a number so according to the number you just need to display the days in the week so if a user enters one you just need to display the day is monday and uh, if a user enters seven you just need to display the day is sunday and this program uh, you also need to write this program in using switch statement and uh, please uh, add the default case so if a user enters the wrong input you just inform the user that you are entering the wrong input and you just need to enter from 1 to 7 to display the days now uh, the answer for this exercise will be uploaded in the description uh, we will give a uh, link to the google drive uh, where these programs are uh, the answers are written but uh, i prefer that uh, you do uh, you better understand the question and uh, write the program by yourself so that you can learn faster and understand the concept easily